everyone so today we are going to write a program for searching actually our main objective is to understand the binary searching you saw the play how a person can easily get a uh, search a number uh, uh, in a list of numbers sorted numbers very easily uh, in very less number of steps we'll see why a binary search works but before that we understand how to simply search a number in a list of a uh, list of given numbers for that we will use the linear search it's a conventional simple search we'll go through each values and try to find our uh, element what what we want to uh, find in that list and we'll see how num how many number of steps it takes and then we'll switch to binary search so i will uh, start my spider I will type spider in my terminal and wait for it. Okay. Okay. I'll write my program in a new file. Uh, untitled zero. I'll change the name. So what I want first, first I want a list of numbers. Uh, for this program, we will take the numbers in sorted order, in ascending order. Uh, the numbers will always be like this: one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. I mean, it should always be sorted. I mean, the numbers will always be in ascending order. First, I have to. Uh, I will create a list of numbers. Uh, for that, uh, I will write. Uh, I will write a rule for i in range. Let's say I want numbers from one to thousand. One thousand one. Uh, in range, uh, if I want a number from uh, uh, let's say one to n, then I have to uh, uh, I have to uh, give the argument as n plus one because it always prints up to a uh, number less than the given number i will write here or oh, let me save this as linear search okay awesome for that i need a list so let me write the name as element if I give a simple bracket to create a list, I will use this. So, in order to add elements uh, into a list, uh, there is a function name named append. I will just type element dot. See, it will show you all the functions which in you which you can use with the list. Uh, that is the beauty with Spider. I will just Click tab and it will give me the append value and I will write here what I that's it. I've created the list. Okay, that's it. I can just run this to see my list. Okay, I run the program. I'll just type element and it will show me the numbers from one to thousand. You can see I have all the numbers from one to thousand. Awesome. So uh, we recommend you to write all the programs in function. So let me create a function here, which I can easily call def linear search. And I'll give the range here. Let's say n. So that that n I can use here. Also, I will give a number as a parameter x which I want to find. Now let's see this. I will give the indentation. Okay, awesome. This is done. I've created my uh, list of numbers. Now what I want. I want to search this element x uh, in this list. 
for that i will write uh, in another loop for i in c now my list is uh, 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 complete i have created the list i can just iterate through that through the elements of this list which is very easy just i have to write since list is iteratable what do me what do i mean by iteratable you can just google it you will understand what is iteratable there are some uh, elements in uh, python which are iteratable and there are some which are not iteratable if it is iteratable you can go through it like a loop so i will write for i in the list name which is element okay see here element was created i can for i can go through it here also i in element and if i just print it it will give me the elements so i can iterate through the uh, through the elements of element <laughs> okay for i in element okay now i have i am iterating over the values of element and i will write it only one if condition if i is equal equal to my number x which i want to find and i will just print yes i found my number at position and i will give the position as str since in this example the numbers are sorted from 1 to n i can just write str i minus 1 or like simply i can write str i okay so let me write a column here okay i have to also print that whether i found the number or not if i didn't find any number so for that i will use a flag value let's say flag is equal to 0 okay uh, initially the value is 0 if i found this number then i will put the flag value to 1 let's say after that i will just write a if condition if flag is equal equal to 0 i will print number is not found that's it cool so my program is complete now let me just run this and let's see this i will i will just call the function linear search she it is whenever i whenever i type this argument it will show me that it needs two argument n and x so n is my range so here i will put 1001 and x what number Let's say I want to search fifty. Okay, just type and it will show me. Yes, I found one number at position fifty because the number is sorted. Okay, cool. Now I want to know how many iteration it took for me to uh, get to this number. So for that, what I will do. i will create a variable count here with zero initial value and whenever i am going through an element here i will do count plus is equal to 1 i am increasing the value of count by 1 and if 
I I don't need to whenever I find a number uh, in the list I don't need to go again uh, go through the other elements uh, of the list so I will just break the loop here because uh, I don't need to go to find and uh, go to look at other numbers because I already got my number so uh, here I will break and if flag is zero then it will find and I will print the count. That's it. Let me write here number of iterations is equal to okay, this is calling it there plus str because I need to change this into string awesome it's done let me check in your search it give me 1000 sorry 1001 the number is 57 let's say okay now you can see, yes, I found my number at position 57. Number of iteration it is taking is 57 because before 57, I have to check all the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, up to this whole thing. Then I will go to the 57. So you can see that if the number of elements in the list are very huge, let's say uh, 1 million, and you want to search a number which is very uh, uh, far end let's say the number I want to search is uh, 1 million only then it will take 1 million uh, near 1 million iteration to find that number which is a very huge in the game we saw that when uh, we can use the advantage of a uh, sorted number when whenever a number is uh, num uh, elements in an array or a list is sorted we can use that extra information for searching a particular number easily that is the crux of binary search so we'll see how we can use this extra information to search a number in a list of sorted numbers and uh, drastically decrease the number of iteration so that we can uh, in in very less number of iteration and or, or to say in a very less number of time uh, in very less time we can search the number so in next video we'll see the binary search and we'll see how we played that game.